Welcome on in, everybody. Thanks for checking out the channel. Tobin here with you in the wee hours of a Monday morning. I uh, am doing this. Dolphins have just wrapped up a win. And I wanted to get to this because I was asked by a couple people on uh, a lot of people on social media sent me this clip yesterday. And uh, one of my reaction to it, my reaction to it's funny because if you guys didn't see uh, during the Colorado, Colorado State game, um, <laughs> there's this video that was going around from the broadcast, which is hilarious. And it's a video of Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Kyle Lowry is at the game and he uh, is sitting with Chauncey Billups, current Portland Trailblazers head coach. And, you know, at first it was funny because I saw the screenshots and somebody said, I was like, ah, that's, that's whatever, you know, I'll buy, you know, me guys, I'll buy into anything. I'll say that's a thing. That's, uh, that's uh, that wasn't a big deal. Chauncey Billups, Kyle Lowry, two longtime point guards. I'm sure they have a mutual respect for one another. But then you watch the video, and um, I can't share it, obviously, because it's ESPN, but if you guys just look it up, if you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty tremendous because Chauncey Billups is at this game, you know, went to Colorado, um, and is from, you know, is, is, uh, is, from, is, from, is from the area, right? So Chauncey Billups is at this game. He's in the box. So would it be weird that he's there, right? Well, you, you know, he's a former... Colorado Buffalo, he can go support his team. What's wrong with Chauncey Billups being there, right? And, but the funny part of the video is, like, Chauncey Billups notices that he's on TV and then, like, gets spooked that he's on TV and, like, gets up and he leaves Kyle Lowry. Like, it's the most suspicious thing in the world. Like, they shouldn't be seen together. That, to me, was the odd thing about this video. And if it was just a case of, oh, there's Kyle Lowry and Chauncey Billups, and that didn't happen, I would have been like, oh, well, who cares? They're at a game together, not, you know, Chauncey Billups has a uh, big reason to be at that game. His football team is really good. Why would he be excited? Kyle Lowry, I don't really understand why he's uh, in Colorado right now. I don't know why. Maybe he was there to meet Chauncey Billups. I'm not really sure. But it was, uh, the video is hilarious because Chauncey Billups, he gets up so suspiciously in this uh in this game because he probably thinks to himself ah it's a colorado colorado state game why the hell would espn put me on television like why would they put me chauncey billups is a, is a great player and a, and a current coach i get it but i don't know it was it was pro he probably thinks to himself ah i'm good i'm gonna go talk to larry so when he sees himself on this video to get up so quick like he had been caught in the, in some compromising situation was pretty hilarious and you think that the portland trailblazers coach is talking to miami heat point guard kyle lowry while his point guard his star point guard is uh is on the is on the block or not on the block i guess is in the midst of a trade demand to kyle Lowry's franchise and, and I've, I've said this like in uh in a video earlier this summer where you know, Kyle has kind of gone through this summer really quietly because all of the fodder has really been about Tyler Hero. You know, Tyler Hero and Hakez and Jovic. And there really hasn't been a lot of talk about Kyle Lowry. You know, he's kind of just gone about his business. And you're kind of wondering, like, he's spent most of his summer, it seems, in Las Vegas, which he does every year at the UFC Performance Institute. Um, he is a contract that if I were the trailblazers, I feel like I would want because it's up after this year. And if they were to just say, Hey, you know, part of the reason they, it said they don't want Tyler here is not necessarily his player. They're just not necessarily into taking a long-term hundred million dollar plus contract. Although with some of the contracts that are around this league, I don't think it looks that bad, quite honest with you, but Kyle, you know, it clears the books after this season and you can bring him in. I assume you'd buy him out. Um, you know, or maybe you can flip him somewhere else for another asset for somebody who does need a veteran point guard. I'm not really sure, but Kyle Lowry has really gone throughout all of this in 
you know, has kind of gone under the radar. And I don't really know where uh, it, I don't really know where his future lies because you could theoretically throw it like if they wanted to make this clean, like you could put him and Duncan Robinson in a trade and that could pretty come close to matching the Damian Lillard salary. Now that they want Duncan Robinson, I don't know. I'd assume they want more young guys and things like that. But I guess my bigger point is Kyle's contract can be used as a mechanism to match with Damian Lillard pretty easily. If they didn't want to go the Tyler hero route, if they did want to go down the direction of, you know, Tyler still being here, Tyler being that that's the way they could do it. They do have that Lowry contract. And so one looks at that video of Chauncey Billups and Kyle Lowry and wonders was Chauncey Billups asking him, would you play for me? Would you, you know, be a veteran to scoot Henderson? You've been in that role before, or do you want to be traded? You know, I mean, or it could have just been, hey, how are the kids? Who knows? But it, I, I think the way that he got up, it just it just oozed, I shouldn't be seen with you, Kyle. It was very, very strange. And I don't really know, you know, will this be the week that there's movement? You know, we had the report from, um, from Woj that said that there was more talks over the last 10 days than there were all summer for the Trailblazers and that they were talking to multiple teams. Which I feel like some Heat fans took as um, they're trying to find another deal. I didn't take it like that. I found it as if he was saying that in that Portland is trying to see what teams want the most stuff for stuff they don't so they can get the most stuff for Damian Lillard. That's the way I took it. You did have a report come over the weekend from uh, Greg Selvander from Five Reasons, a.k.a. Lefty Leif. So shout out. Shout out Leif for the uh, for the uh, report, but he had said, I guess, in their off the floor feed, and uh, go check them out. They got some good info there. Check out the boys at uh, Five Reasons. Uh, he had said Portland, Miami, and whatever other teams are involved in this potential multi team deal have made some progress in the last forty eight to seventy two hours on the Lillard trade to Miami per a league source. That is according to Greg, um, and so. Yeah, I I do think that there has to be, there has to be some realization from Joe Cronin. Hey, Damian Lillard starting camp for us ain't going to go well. We can make this Miami deal work and look pretty good for you guys. Let's actually work and make this happen. Let's let's work together and make this happen. Like I was seeing... um, you know, one of the Boston Yahoo's, I think it was Mannix on Drew Starr's Twitter account that was like, uh, oh, okay, see, I could see them emerging as a dark horse. I'm like, sure, dude, keep doing it. Keep rap. You bring me your Raptors, bring me your Thunder, bring me your, you know, your Pacers, bring me your random, your Jazz, give me your random contenders that you think will take a swing at Dame and his four years, 200 million plus contract. Do it, dude. Keep throwing out those trade scenarios. Um, so, look, definitely feels like things have been pretty quiet over the last couple of days, but there's been more positive rumblings as it is. I think most people are pretty much exhausted to no end and, and just want this thing to happen. I do think that... Um, you know, does the does the 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 Lowry Chauncey Billups video prove anything? Ah, probably not. I mean, it's it's not one of those that uh, it, it's it it's the you know it, it, you know, is it a step that's bigger than Damian Lillard putting on his Instagram and deleting um <laughs> future Heat legend? I don't know. I, I think that um, but it does feel like there's been more positive stuff in the ether than there has been in the entire month of august which was a real dead zone like from the time the trade request came out to the time training camp closed it feels like there's been 0.0 fodder rumors anything other than really probably tyler hero um bridging any hard feelings if there were any hard feelings that's like the only thing i think came out of this in the la in the in the month of august and then you know, the last, I'd say, four or five days, it has felt like, all right, maybe something actually does have to happen here, and we'll find out. You know, we'll find out if 
Damian Lillard will be there on October 2nd and uh, in camp for Boca. But that Chauncey Billups Kyle Lowry video was hilarious.